Hello, everybody, and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. In the purple mystery box, we have some math, and your challenge is to figure out what that math is. Give it a try by going to the link in the description, and when you think you've got an answer, come on back and see if we get the same thing. All right, let's start with a zero. Okay, so zero gives us zero. How about a one? Okay, so one gives us a long decimal. Doesn't look like it's repeating. Maybe this is trig, I don't know. Um, let's put in a two. Okay, and that's way up there. Let's put in a three. Okay, it goes down and up and down, so it does look like it might be trig. It's a little hard to see what this is, though. I, I'm going to try to um, make some approximations of, of, of some trig values. So let's put in pi, or an approximation of pi, so 3.14. And that's pretty much a zero. Okay, so we're zero at zero, and we're zero at pi. That, uh, that makes me think sine, but something else is going on here. Let's try pi over 2. So um, close to it is 1.5. Oh, and that is off the graph. Mm, okay. So I think, oh, and that's a, is that a negative? It's hard to see uh, that number because it's so small, but I think that's a negative 14. Interesting. So let's, let's think about the trig functions for a moment. So remember, we're, we're putting in an angle and then the endpoint is going to be our, the x and y coordinates are going to be our cosine and our sine. So at zero, the y is zero, so sine is zero. And at pi, which is over on the other side of the circle, the y coordinate is zero again. And we saw that here. So that's why I thought sine originally. At pi over two, the sign should be one. And we are not seeing that. We're seeing it go to, uh, I, well, I think this is going to shoot down to negative infinity. That's that's my hunch about this. Because I don't think this is the cos or the sign. I think this is maybe the tangent. So the tangent is the sine over the cosine, which means that at zero and pi, you get zero in the numerator of your fraction, which is still zero. That's why you'd get those zeros. But at pi over two, what would happen? Well, here the, the cosine is one, but the sine is, is, sorry, the cosine is zero, but the sine is one. So you would have one over zero, and that would be undefined. You can't have that. And that's where we see it shooting. Well, with the tangent, usually you see it shooting up to infinity there. That's a positive value. We're getting a negative. Let's just put a few values on the other side of the y-axis. Um, I think I know what's going on here. I think it's just as simple as a negative tangent. Um, but let's 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 try this. I'm going to put in a negative 1.5, so we'll approximate that pi, negative pi over two. Yeah, and there you get the positive infinity. So negative pi over two would be down here, and that's where. Um, the sine would be negative one and the cosine would be zero. Um, and so you'd think it'd be shooting down to negative infinity, but in fact, it's shooting down or shooting up to positive infinity. And then if we go back to back to pi uh, uh, here, so negative, let's do negative pi, 3.14. Yeah, and we're again very close to zero. So I'm pretty sure that this is the the negative of the tangent it looks to have that pattern so we've seen the tangent before this looks like that but just with the signs reversed which we can see from those values near pi over two so f of x equals a negative tangent of x that's what i think i'm going with that let's reveal yeah there it is so f of x equals the negative tangent of x and let's graph that it should be interesting yeah so there are those those interesting curves that shoot up to infinity and down to negative infinity in that repeated way. Um, but they're they're in the different direction, right? So normally the tangent looks like like this. Whoops, need the pen to do that. So it would just be sort of reversed, a mirror image of that and that repeating. So how did that go for you? I think that was a toughie. Unless you're really used to graphing a lot of trig functions, I think that one could be pretty confusing. Let me know how it went for you. Thanks, everybody.